Here's Dolce. Hello, we're going to show you, um, it's been exactly a year since we posted our first video of Dolce's morning routine. And um, if you look at our previous videos, you'll see that she has gotten very, very white in her muzzle. And a lot of people have been asking how I wash their face. And so I'll ju just do a quick tutorial. We do not bathe the dogs once a week. Um, I know a lot of people like to do it, but um, we have a busy schedule. We have a lot of uh, things to do. So the dogs only get bathed every two to three weeks, um, but we do do face washes. So let us show you how we wash the girl's face. Um, Dolce's going to say good morning to you. She is very, very messy, but she's ready for her face wash. So one of the things we do is we will put a little bib, and we got this up for $1.50 at the Daiso market. Um, you don't want a fabric bib, but you want a linoleum or, or plastic type of bib. And um, if it has a pocket, you're going to want to put the pocket on the inside so that um, it doesn't collect water. So technically you're supposed to wear it reverse, but we flip it over because um, we want the pocket on the inside if it has a pocket. And it says rabbit here, and she kind of looks like a rabbit. So what we're going to do here is we're normally do this in the bathroom, but we're going to show you here so that we can film it. It's hard to film in the bathroom. Uh, what we're going to do first for a mini face wash, we're just going to, it is warm water, we're just going to wet her face down. And again, we would normally do this in the bath. And we're going to wet her face down. And we use a shower nozzle to do this typically. Um, but you can get these mini squirt bottles. They're Wilton. It's a, a bakery brand. So we're going to wet her face. And the first wash, what we do is we use this Tropically, and I have it in a pump. I put it in a pump bottle because I hate having to deal with um, flipping these things upside down. So we'll use this Tropically, which you've seen us do before, and we just dot it. This used to all be kind of stained, and she still stains because she tears. Um, and we work that in. But we do not go, we're kind of on the conservative side. We do not go in here. You can, I think some people do. But um, I don't like to get too close because I don't want the soap, even though this is a tearless shampoo, I don't like this. Uh, Tropiclean spa going in her eyes. And we'll do the other side. And if you can see, she has a little line, and this would spread across her muzzle if I didn't clean this. She also has food stains because we home cook, so the girls would be very stained if we didn't do this once a week or so and then the bath every two or three weeks. So you just go in here and you rub the Tropiclean. I don't use it all over the muzzle, I just use it for the tear stain. And then we'll rinse it out. Again, you would do this in the shower. Okay. And then sometimes there would be goobers in here. So at this point, since the hair is nice and wet, if you can see, we took um, um, does that show? We took a booger out. A <coughs> booger. And look at this eye. Taking care, of course. Here's another one. You can see it's a pretty good sized little booger. Uh, normally what we would do is just use the spa lavish. So a year ago we showed you we would just use a spa lavish to clean the face and that would be it. What we started doing when this new line show premium products, when this new line came out um, by show, we liked it on the body so much that we decided because it was SLS free and um, um, it was a gentle shampoo, but we also saw immediate results as far as whitening and, and shine. We thought we would try this on Dolce's face. So we experimented with using this around her muzzle, not near the eyes, but around her muzzle, or not, not too close to the eyes. And we found that her muzzle became very healthy and very shiny. So um, Show Premium has three lines. There's the Clarity line the Moisture Unleashed line, 
and the royal treatment line so that you can get the shampoo uh, and the conditioner for each of these and we use all three of them typically um, after she throws up and she stinks I would use the clarity line because the clarity has a mint smell to it and it smells very clean and minty so I would use this if I want to um, clean out that barf smell which is pretty putrid um, as an average everyday face wash I use the moisture unleashed uh, it's very hydrating um, this the coat is very shiny and because there's no alcohol parabens or sulfates or sodium um, I found it to be less harsh than a typical shampoo uh, it doesn't sud which is nice LS, SLS free shampoos do not sud um, which is nice because you don't want a lot of suds going in the eyes so I like the fact some people don't like SLS shampoos because they don't sud and people have the feeling they need to see the bubbles but um, it actually doesn't negate the cleaning power and the efficacy of the shampoo just because you don't get a lot of bubbles um, so the fact that you don't get a lot of bubbles with these shampoos I really like to use around the face um, around the muzzle and then on some days when I feel like um, when we have Santa Ana's running through here and it's super dry or if there's static in the air I may use the royal treatment I use this the least because um, the girls have good coats and so I don't tend to grab for royal treatment because it is a straw, uh, more nourishing shampoo and I find that it makes the lots of stop um, the royal treatment actually softens the hair a little bit too soft for my taste so I don't grab for this as much you buy these on Amazon I buy a pump these pumps you can buy them six in six packs and um, I uh, like to use it in a pump so Back to Dolce and her face. I will pump out a little bit of this Moisture Unleashed. And I will do the second face wash. And again, it doesn't set a lot, which is really nice because you don't have to worry about the suds getting in her face. I'll add some to this side. And it smells, all of the Show Premium products smell so amazing. So if you really enjoy kissing your dogs like I do, I love how fresh and clean it makes the dog's face smell without having to give them a full bath. You can still have that fresh from the spa, um, fresh from the spa smell and just want to kiss them all the time because they smell so good. And then I'm gonna just rinse that out. And her body won't get wet because the bib will protect her. Uh, good girl. I'm gonna rinse all that shampoo out. It's actually a pretty cool way to wash a puppy too because if you don't wanna take them in the shower you can get one of these little bottles and uh, not have them be traumatized in the bathtub because my girls hate being in the bathtub all right so after that the probably the step that i didn't used to do when i first started grooming was this very important step of conditioning uh, to seal the coat after you clean it especially after using something like um, a whitening shampoo uh, it's really, really important to condition the coat. So, we're going to use the Moisture and Lace Conditioner, which also smells equally delicious and just you just want to lick it. All the Show Premium products smell really amazing. You can see the little booger here in the... So we're going to just dot on this conditioner, conditioning the coat. The face gets wet so much. It gets put in food. It gets dripped in water. It's really, really important to condition the coat. And I'm just going to work this into the coat. And condition and make sure all this hair is conditioned and all the shafts are sealed and nicely protected. It helps with shine. a lot. 
nostrils. Wash this booger out. So obviously gonna get, she would get a better face wash in the shower. <laughs> um, Cause the volume of water would be greater, but for purposes of showing you how we do it, or how we clean her face, we're using these cute little bottles, aren't we? These are the bottles I like to use on puppies. When we groom puppies, to get them used to having their face handled, or if you have a sick dog that can't be, after a spay or after a teething and they are sick and you don't want to traumatize them in the bathtub or they shouldn't get their body wet, it's not to say they can't have a clean face. Um, you have seen the Butler Shine tear stain remover. After washing their face or after a bath, I like to put this in their eye, or not in their eyes, but I like to do a final rinse afterwards to kill any bacteria or also just, it is approved on their website to flush their eyes with. Uh, you shouldn't touch the tip obviously to anything. You don't want to contaminate the tip. If I were to use this as an eye flushing, um, as they recommend, I have an extra sterile bottle that I use and I make sure that the tip is always protected. But for just rinsing out after a bath, I like to just rinse the muzzle, just the, just the stained area. And I feel like it's been making a difference in keeping the girls very, very clean. Dolce still has an issue with tear staining, but in the past this would all be red and the tear stain would bleed into the rest of her muzzle. Right now it's just this little line that she has and otherwise she's very, very white compared to a year ago. So like I said, some you want to try a sample product to make sure that I wouldn't, these products are not typically designed to use around the face, but I have found such amazing success and I love the smell and um, Dolce's face has become very clean and very white in all the photographs. We do not Photoshop their faces, their faces and the videos are, are as is, so you can see the number one question I get is how do I get their face so white and I use the blueberry scrub, I use the moisture unleashed, I condition, I use the butler shine to clean the eyes out and all that uh, has contributed to their faces being very white and so here we go, here's Dolce, she's very white We'll finish her up with some show premium. It really helps give them kind of that instant plastic surgery. You can use a little bit of this pina colada and pin back some of those very few loose hairs. And um, it gives you this virtual big eye effect and it won't flake into their eyes. It smells so good. Hi, Hi, Dolce. Hi. Pink one's good. Oh. Good girl.